as Gianner is collecting from one, two, three, four, four out of four bases are collecting, even though his his main is kind of not not really collecting. But I mean, yeah, you know, it's the fact is that he has a guy who's still mining minerals there, and here come more zerglings on the way. Let's see, put on the production tab that makes knowing things easier. Ooh, man. Let's see, there's 52 Zerglings and 34 Banelings on the way, plus two um, Flyer Carapace upgrade on the way. Let's see what Huck is doing up here. He has the, only the first upgrade for weapons on the way, so that is going to be kind of pushed back by the, um, the, the Flyer Carapace upgrade, just because, you know. I mean, but I mean, I guess keeping up is better than being left behind. And oh, we have Cracklings on the way with level attack level 3. Um, I'd, I'd like to see, I mean, I, I think it would be good to get a couple of them, or at least one um, armor upgrade on the Zerglings, because, you know, having them even for another couple of seconds could be the difference between killing 20 Stalkers and killing 2 Stalkers. So, you know, just that, but I'm, I'm not a pro, and I'm casting this game pretty badly. So, yeah, but so we have Gianna doing some great micro with his Mutas, kind of some Cliff micro. I don't know why um, Huck didn't get out anything that could, I don't know. Oh, I mean, I, I guess he was he was using the um, the hallucinations to scout and oh god, oh all those banelings are getting taken out. All those banelings are coming in to surprise Huck, but Huck was like, no, I'm not gonna be surprised by you, Mister Baneling, and blows them up with storms. But oh, man, that creep spread is getting uncomfortably close to Huck's house. So you know, let's 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 see if he manages to. Expand again, and yes, there we go. He's expanding again, so he's gonna be on at least four base before he can be stopped from expanding. Or has to has to get out some detection to then a flyer of a creep, aka an observer. That's what I was thinking. Oh, oh wait, what? What? Did I? Oh no! The oh, other is the observer. There we go. Okay, never mind. I was gonna talk about the observer, and then I was thinking that I was getting something wrong, where it was like some sort of build thing. But no, I was right. See, I need to have a higher self-esteem about myself. And, oh, God, more mutilists on the way trying to snipe some pylons, which Huck doesn't have any excess pylons. So, you know, that could actually, if if he snipe, if Gianner manages to snipe enough pylons, um, Huck could be, end up supply blocked, which would be awful for Huck. Um, now, here we go. Ooh, big Zerg force in the middle of the map once again, just kind of standing out there in all its glory with its dong hanging out. <sighs> And what is going on? I, I, I like these kind of sporadic, um, random Zerg units running around. It has such a Zergy feel. But oh, oh, all these High Templar here ready to stand their ground. But some of them can't do storms yet. Ooh, do, but do, does Gianner know that is the question. And hopefully this pylon. Oh, good. This pylon just finishing right as um, the cannon comes in. And oh, now we have an Archon mor morphing in, just as I'd hoped. But gets sniped off before it can even really get started, which is. Too bad. I'm sure that Huck right now is hurting for those automatic warp ins and oh, all these storms coming down, just destroying. But will the banelings be stopped? Let's see. Yes, they will. Most of most of the banelings go. All of the banelings go down. Maybe they kill. Oh, they kill a few um, high templar, but not not enough to really justify the loss of all those zerglings and banelings. Now we have something being rallied to this archon. I'm not sure what was rallied to that. But oh, and now we have Huck. Like he has magical map hacks. Just Moving over, figuring out where Gianna is going to strike next, and oh, of course he has met. He has an observer, right? There we go. <laughs> Nature's map hack, everybody. But ooh, we have level three weapon attack upgrade coming out from these mutalisks. If Gianna can just conserve them for long enough, he can actually, you know, make this work. Because uh, let's face it, three attack upgrades are intense on anything. It doesn't matter what they're good against, because if you have three attack upgrades and Huck has two and one, I mean, that still puts him one ahead this late in the game. That's good. <laughs> That's very good. I can't deny it. And, ooh, is he hitting? He's hitting. I think he's timing it with the three attack. Almost. Yes, there we go. And he hits it just as the three attack finishes. Will that be enough? I don't know why he felt the urge to magic box those guys for a second. I guess it was it's kind of style points. But, oh, God, Huck is just getting torn apart here. But, oh, he blinked. Good blink back here, but... Okay, pulling back to behind the cannons, but Huck is most definitely not in control of the map right now. That's for sure. 
Look at all this creep spread and all this other stuff. I mean, sure, he has the observer, but oh, and Huck, GG's. He just can't take it anymore. There is just too much Zerg all over his face. Now, if you, if you liked this, please subscribe. And even if you didn't like this, please subscribe because this is my first ever cast. I've never done this before. And you know, give me some feedback down in the comments section. Um, and yeah, so this has been Sandman. Here's hoping I didn't put you to sleep.